Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is me, Raznak, and today we are talking, not tractors, but some placeables. That's right, we're looking at a couple placeable mods um, that I found over at modhub.us. And before you say anything, the author uploaded them there. Speaking of the author, the author of these mods for FS19 is The Snake. I don't know if you remember him from 17. I don't know if he goes back any earlier because I didn't start playing Farm Sim until FS17. But he made some wonderful placeable mods back in 17. Um, so what I thought we'd do today is we'd look at the mods and because it's talking tractors kind of, we'll talk about a little history because what fun is it without talking about a little bit of history. And I'll kind of show you the factories themselves working and we'll sell a couple of the products. So, um, but yeah, real quick, we'll take a look at the bakery. This is the bakery here. Again, you can find this at modhub.us. The link will be down in the description. I already fired this up. I put some wheat in here. Um, I tell you what, we'll look at the output. Now, real quick, um, give you kind of an honest impression of the mod. The textures are, meh. I mean, you can kind of tell that these are older, um, older textures um, from from older versions of the game. Um, clearly tell. Uh, neat little thing about that. There's a little curb that gets put in, and the curb is um, cut out where you can drive through. But you can kind of see there's some a few texture issues. Um, with the with the map that are eh, you know not with the map but with the mod itself so again I, I would love to see FS19 textures put into the placeables but the great thing is is that we're starting to get placeables so kudos to the mod makers for those also real quick um, I'll show you I put one up here because I wanted to see this this does have auto leveling and you can see the building doesn't have collisions. You can walk right through it. Um, it again, it has its issues. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but at least it's here. But it does have the auto leveling feature. If you put it on uneven terrain, it'll automatically level itself, which I thought was a really nice touch because I've seen some mods lately that don't have that. So you can do that with it, which is pretty cool. We'll jump back down here. Uh, jump over here to the bread factory again you can see it has its issues so it, this one has collisions so if you use the the fast transport point you get stuck in the building so issue issue there said it's not without its issues these are all newer things and I'm sure they will be updated um, I know this is version 1.1 so it's already been updated once by the snake so but here we go. What we'll do is I'll open up this real quick. Again, it's there's missing something here in the XML. Missing bakery input in. I, I'm not sure. It's probably a really easy fix, but that part is missing. Um, for what it takes, this get, takes wheat or barley, 100,000 liters, and it gives you 80,000 liters of bread. Very simple, very easy. You don't have to put pallets, you don't have to put water, you don't have to put any of this. Again, this is a very basic, placeable factory mod. Um, you can see the bread pallets. Now, the bread pallets are pretty cool. I actually think they look really nice. You got these little wooden trays. The pallets themselves look really nice. I'm really impressed with the pallet. Pallet is very nice. Very nice looking. So, what we'll do real quick, let's jump in our truck and I'll show you the dump point on the bakery. jump in here and uh, I filled filled up with some wheat and then I'll, I'll dump it in here and I'll show you um, this one I kind of put it back too close to the fence because it's a little tight making that turn so we'll just back in it's a bad placement by me back this in here Now, I don't normally do mod reviews on placeables and stuff, or I haven't yet. Um, I just have seen this out for a little while, and nobody's done a video on it that I could find. So I thought, well, why not? Now, 
when I go ahead and open this up, you can see there's no unloading animation. The tire's kind of sinking a little bit, but it is unloading. It is unloading into the into the factory. You can see it going up over there in the bottom right hand corner. So that is working. Um, looks like all these are pallet spawn points here. I haven't tried these with auto load yet. I know in 17 when you used auto load off of pallet spawn points we had problems where the factory wouldn't reset. I cannot confirm that that happens. I can't deny that it happens because all I've unloaded this with so far is just manual pallet forks. All right, so yep, we put the weed in, we get some bread. Very basic, very simple. So far works great. No errors in the log. The only error I have is an actual warning. You go up here, uh, something about warning, play trigger, should have collision mask. Something with the, the global company script warning. That's all I'm having showing up. Speaking of global company, you have to have global company script and your mods enabled for this to work. That's what it uses is the global company. And that is the bakery again by the snake. So what we'll do is we'll run over here and we'll take a look at the brewery again. Very similar. You can see kind of old blurry textures when you get up close to the building. Um, far away the building looks pretty cool. I like it. There's no animations or anything. Um, but again, you can see it's kind of old, kind of blurry, repurposed from older versions of the game. Um, but at least we do have it. And again, the palettes are nice. I, I really like the palette. Um, beer, just plain and simple beer. Beer. All right. Pretty simple. I'll show you the dump point on this one. I think the dump point on the brewery is a little better. Uh, when I tried it out earlier, there's a dumping animation and you do not sink through the ground. We'll, uh... And you can see the crop actually falls into the grate. Fills it up. Dump -a -dump -a -dump -a -dump. You can hear the planes overhead. I'm on... This is the snake's map. Um... American Farm, I think is what it's called. I'll show you the PDA real quick. <laughs> Just huge basic fields. Um, I think it's uh, on the Ravenport base map. But let's turn this off because it'll annoy me. But there's planes. He has planes everywhere. You don't see them now, but when you first log in, there's like hundreds of planes and helicopters and stuff flying through this guy. All right, so here's the pallet. Beer pallet as it produce, uh, produces. Again, very, very, very basic. Wheat and barley goes in. Uh, beer comes out. And it says right here, capacity of 100,000 liters for um, wheat and barley uh, outputs 40,000 liters capacity of beer. Now, I don't know what the conversion is, if that's one-to-one. -one. I should have done my homework and checked it, but um, I didn't. I didn't. I don't know how many liters of wheat or barley go into making... Um, a liter of beer. But yeah, that's it. Tell you what, we'll fast forward this real quick and you can kind of see it work. You can see the pallets building. Pretty nice. Jump over here. Again, do the same thing right here with these pallets. See the bread stacking. So the animations are great. They work. It's not just an automatic pallet. Um, kind of fills up, which I thought was really neat. All right, what we'll do real quick is we'll go sell some stuff. I actually have... So, as far as I can tell, it takes existing sell points and adds the fill type to them. Now, I tried this on two maps. I tried this here on his map, and we have a sell point for beer, at both at the restaurant and the central grain elevator seems to be they, they seem to be all sell points for everything almost and so it does work with those I also loaded these mods into the Ravenport map the base game Ravenport map and ev and there were five sell points on that map it's a plan. squirrel there were five sell points on that map that took both the bread and the beer 
from these production facilities. So it must it must um, automatically include those as sell points for this. And I don't know, um, that must be a global company thing, but it works great and it works. So let's jump over here. I've got a couple pallets already over here staged and ready. And we'll look at those. They do strap down. Um, only thing that's kind of weird is the strap goes through the product at the at the top. I thought that was kind of odd, but they do strap down. The pallets do strap. We'll unstrap these. And we'll sell one of each. You can see they do work. If I can get them off. Pallets work. Um, the pallet does have some weight to it, so it's it does uh, does have some physics properties, which is nice. Um, I like to see that the stuff has weight, makes it a little more realistic. And we'll drive over the sell point, and you will see that the beer pallet starts to sell. Poof, three thousand three hundred and sixty-seven dollars for four thousand liters of uh, beer. Pretty sure it's 4,000 liters. I thought each pallet was four. Yep, 4,000 liters. Now I don't have any other mods installed. I just have Global Company, the map, and the place tools installed. And then I have dev, control, dev controls put in. And um, that's about it. So I don't know how this works with seasons. I don't know how this will work with, um, you know, like um, some script mods that uh, that affect like real weights and things like that. I don't know how that'll work. So, but like anything else, you start putting a bunch of mods together, you're going to run into uh, maybe some issues. So, now, real quick, a little bit about history, just because it's fun. Right, just because I'm not just going to show you the mod and show it working, because it clearly works, and show you any issues. And again, one of the issues is um, this weird missing bakery factory name in the XML. That's the only thing that kind of is throwing me off. Then you have these in the log there, in the global company log. Um, so, but again, you can open the overview menu and it shows you input outputs. It works. It does what it's supposed to. Snake's logo there. Um, so we definitely have that. You can rename them. Name it whatever you want. You can name this. Um, um, Raz's Bakery. And then right here, Raz's Bakery. But this still doesn't go away. And it's kind of like, man, nah, not a fan of it. But, hey, it's part of it. It's part of the game development. So we'll take it. All right, so quick history. Sorry. <laughs> quick history um, about bakeries. I did. I did a little research. So because it's fun. Uh, baked goods have been around for thousands of years. I think everybody can assume that. Um, I think as long as people have grown wheat, we have been baking it into something um but some fun facts it was actually popular 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 <laughs> made popular by the romans as a profession around 300 bc and it's kind of the first account um in history of there actually being schools for bakers um was in roman times and there were celebrities Ba some bakers were actually famous in Rome, and they, because P Roman people loved baked goods so much, it became a very, very, very lucrative profession in ancient Rome, uh, and eventually in Paris and London. Again, all spread by the Romans around 300 BC. Now, uh, in the United States, July 7th, 1928, by the Chilhacoth Baking Company in Missouri, was the first pre-cut bread. Now there's a battle against, uh, I think, a bread company in Battle Creek, Michigan that says they had the first sliced bread, but they don't have any documentation to prove it, or this bread company in Missouri does. So the first pre-sliced bread was July 7th, 1928, and it actually didn't go over very well. People didn't like it. 
people don't like it because it it um now this is before preservatives and all that stuff it kind of went stale really really fast and we can go into the physics of that but we won't um so a lot of people didn't like it and until post world war ii when we came up with all the preservatives and chemicals and everything else we stick in our food um it really didn't have huge huge popularity um in uh in the United States. Another fun fact. During World War II, it was illegal in the United Kingdom to own bread cutters. Because they took all of the materials that were in bread cutters for wartime stuff. And uh, it was apparently fairly, very unpopular with the housewives. All right. Some fun history. Again, you can see another plane over there. There's planes everywhere. Another fun history about brewery. Brewing. Um, so it's one of the oldest drinks produced by humans, um, 5,000 BC or earlier, and some of the first documented um, recipes for beer are ancient Sumerian recipes around uh, 5,400 BC, some ancient Sumerian tablets that are actually beer recipes, um, and that was in the area of Iran, um, modern day Iran, so around, you know, five, the fifth millennial Millennium. We've been making beer a long time. Uh, worldwide, we're looking at 35 billion gallons of year a year of beer produced in the world, and the worldwide revenue is over 300 billion dollars. A lot of money made off of us drinking some beer. Uh, fun American facts: Native Americans actually brewed beer before European settlers, and they made it out of corn birch sap and water so even even uh, the native peoples of the United States were making beer and in South America they made beer out of uh, out of things they had available there the first commercial US brewery in the United States um, actually came in existence in 1632 by the Dutch West India Company in lower Manhattan of the state of New York so yeah, some fun facts. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Not very long. Short, sweet, quick to the point. Things work. Let's fast forward this. I haven't fast forwarded it. Let's see what happens. As the pallets fill up. Quickly, quickly. There we go. We can up to 2,000. This dev console. So this thing's full. Full at 40,000. Now, I put in um, 60,000 liters of wheat, and so it's not one-to-one, -one, because I have 40,000, so I have 52, so it's not one-to-one, -one, so it uses up a little more wheat. Uh, here goes the bread. Let's fast forward the bread. All right, we're done. Again, so I put in 60,000 liters of wheat, and we got 56,000 liters of bread. So, yeah, that's what's up with that. That kind of gives you an idea. Look at all this beautiful, wonderful bread. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I might do some more of these if I, if I see that there's mods out that people aren't showing everybody. I know um, a lot of people are into the placeable stuff and into the factory stuff, so I thought that would help them out. I like to show off things as I find them um, and share that knowledge with all of you. As always, stay safe, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.